Hey guys, it's Vaughn. So I've been doing a lot of traveling. I actually just got back from a trip yesterday. My luggage is still sitting right there. I haven't even unpacked everything yet and I'm actually getting ready to take another trip next week. So I travel a lot and so I wanted to make this video where I kind of share with you guys how I make that easy on myself some of my tips and tricks for packing everything that I need. I just wanna focus on what I actually take from a toiletry perspective. I feel like that'd be really helpful for you guys. The vibe of this video will kinda of be similar to that of my favorites videos, just sharing with you guys what products I have and that kind of thing. So this is not a sponsored video or anything, it's just me sharing some of my favorite items that I do take with me on trips. And before we get started, I know you guys are gonna ask, so I'm just going to address it right now. I am not wearing my wedding rings because they are with the jeweler, getting some maintenance done. I had some stones fall out. Um, it needed to be cleaned and I wanted to have the band and the ring soldered together. So my ring has been with the jeweler now for probably like, two weeks should be ready soon but no rush I want them to take their time on that thing to make sure they get it right so this is my toiletry bag I just grabbed it right out of my luggage that's still sitting right there to show you guys so um, it's very realistic the stuff that's in here is actually the stuff that I travel with I was in Columbus Ohio with my sister helping her move so it was the stuff I took to Columbus and it's the stuff I'm gonna take to Cincinnati next week I know you guys are probably like, dang, you were just in Ohio. I know, right? When I went with my sister, I drove. Me and Ann, we just did like a road trip. But when I go to Cincinnati next week, it's going to be by plane. And I'm actually working on something with Procter & Gamble that I'll be telling you guys about really, really soon. I plan to vlog that whole experience. But anyway, <laughs> so this is the bag that all my toiletries are in. This is a Cantu little tote and it works out perfectly. It's the perfect size. It's very lightweight. It's pretty compact, so it's great for traveling. So I'm just gonna open up my toiletry bag and just kinda go through everything that's in here. I am also going to show you guys the full size item of each of these because some of this stuff is like abbreviated, right? So I would like pour some of a product in like a little labelless little jug that's three ounces. And so I'm gonna show you guys the full size thing when we get to those products. So this is what it looks like. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, it's a ton of stuff in here because I like to have all of the comforts of home with me, but I just don't wanna bring a lot of bulk and I don't want stuff to be super heavy because sometimes I'm on and off planes and I need to be able to grab my bag really quickly. Don't need to be waiting on someone to help me with it and all that, so I like to keep it simple. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything that's in here. The first thing that's right on top are these Olay Daily Facials wipes. These are the ones I told you guys about in my last favorites video where they are just water activated. I don't need a lot of bulk with me. I just need to bring these and they fit down into any size bag. So I have four of those. And next, because my nose is always running and I'm always eating something spicy and my eyes are watering and that kind of stuff, I always wanna make sure that I have tissue handy. Don't always wanna use toilet paper or a napkin on my sensitive skin on my face because the area around my nose gets really really red and crusty if I don't treat it right so I like to have specifically facial tissue and this is just one that I got from Walmart it's the up and up brand and this stuff is not in any particular order so goodness gracious so for my face I always bring my Olay whip talked about this in my last favorites video some of you guys in the comments told me that this did not work out for you very well in terms of like it you know flattering your skin and stuff and so that's really unfortunate and I can kind of see though how you guys could say that based on like the formula of this I can kind of see that but it works really good for me like I love this stuff so I always bring it I hate carrying like bulky lotions and stuff I always bring something really small like this because I feel like whenever I travel with my husband he has like this big old gallon of lotion and I'm just like Gonna bring something small like this anyway this is just the Vaseline brand I talked about this in my last favorites video also I liked it so much that I got the travel size version this one is three ounces so it's TSA approved next when we talk about skin I want to show you guys a product that you probably have not heard of before and this is the only of its kind okay and I'm so excited to even be talking about this with you guys but this is called black girl sunscreen it's a new product that is out right now there's nothing else like it on the market I'm just so happy to see something like this so this is a sunscreen specifically formulated for black skin and you might be like well what's the difference between this and any other kind of sunscreen well first of all it's black owned so I'm really excited about that you know when you put on sunscreen and it gives you like that 
white residue like that kind of like coating for some people they can put that stuff on and it's hard to notice but when you have brown skin you can easily see that and for some people it's a deterrent for even wanting to wear sunscreen so this stuff is ultra sheer so it does not provide you with like that film over your skin where it feels just really unflattering and unsightly. You don't get that with this. It's fragrance free and ultra moisturizing. It's oxybenzone and paraben free and it's a broad spectrum SPF 30. You guys, I don't go anywhere without sunscreen. Sunscreen is something that you need to always have on you because you never know when you're gonna be exposed to the sun for prolonged periods of time and you need to have that protection. So I just love this stuff, guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, which I would highly recommend because like I said, it's black owned and it's a black girl sunscreen. It's amazing. Click the link in my description box because there's a deal right now where you can get two of these in a set free shipping and it's going to include a five dollar off coupon so when you go to replenish these when you run out of them you'll have a five dollar off coupon so it's a really good deal so i would highly recommend you guys check it out by clicking the link in my description box next in my little kit here i have my deodorant this is just a secret deodorant in the fragrance lux lavender i just like it because it's so small and compact and then the fragrance that it gives is actually really nice next i have my razor this is a venus compact razor it's a lot smaller than the typical one one that you would use like in your shower and I used to travel with those until I got my hand you know nicked a couple times reaching down into my toiletry bag trying to get it out or trying to get something else out and having that thing like kind of cut me or whatever so it's a good idea to have like a little case to put the razor in so that doesn't happen to you but also I like having a really tiny one because it does not take up a whole lot of space and it works the same it's the same head it's just the handle is shorter I always bring along like um, a bar soap because it saves space versus bringing like a liquid body wash I always tell people like if you want to save space in your bag you want to be more hassle-free getting through TSA, just bring a bar soap. And I like having these little containers because it makes it mess-free. But you could also use like a Ziploc bag, it works just fine. But I'm going to show you guys the soap that's in here. This is basically just the Dove Beauty Bar in white. So I always use really mild soaps and this is one of my favorites. It's actually Dove Caress and Olay soaps that work really well for me. Next in my toiletry bag is this shower cap. Usually when I travel, I'm going to a hotel and normally they'll have shower caps in the hotel, but in case they don't, I always bring one because you just never know. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my oral hygiene stuff. So I always bring um, floss, toothpaste, and a toothbrush because I brush my teeth every day, um, as you should. And this toothbrush that I have, you guys, this was one of the items that was in my last phase box for January. This is the Coral Oral Toothbrush. It's basically everything you need in a toothbrush, but this is the first and only black owned toothbrush manufacturer ever. I find that to be really cool to know. So I would highly recommend if you guys are interested in purchasing something like this. Like I said, it was in my last faves box, but it is available for purchase. I'll put the link below so you guys can check it out. Next in here is my face wash, and I'll show you guys what product that is. It's just my Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. I have been using this same brand of facial cleanser ever since I was in high school. It gives my face like a nice moisturized clean. It always feels like super clean when I'm all done, so I just keep on using it. Next, I just have my lip balm. This is an EOS lip balm. Always have to have chapstick of some sort with me, so I always bring this. Um, a hand sanitizer spray this one is from the honest company and I like having this because of the spray applicator so it's a little bit easier to put on in a clutch it dries really quickly and absorbs into the hands so it's not like you have to wait all this time for this thing to dry before you can actually use your hands for whatever it was you were trying to do so I like to use this for and too so this is a really good one and it's only two ounces so it's very travel friendly next I have my little tide to go stain remover this comes in so handy I'm not even kidding one time I was out and I had spilled something on my shoe and I was wearing like white shoes I was trying to like scrub it off with a paper towel and it just would not budge and so I was able to use this on there and it made it disappear so it's actually highly effective um, next in here I have some feminine products I just have two um, tampons you just, you just never know I also like to bring a couple of panty liners just in case also in here I have um, my 
uh, a multivitamin. I just like to bring a few of them in this organza bag. Um, it's actually this item here, which is super huge. I mean, how much space? This would take up like half the space in my toiletry bag. I've been trying to take my vitamins a lot more, you guys, because like my hair is falling out and my nails are like a disaster. So obviously I'm not getting the right kind of vitamins and nutrients. So I'm really trying my best to rectify that. So I've been taking my one a day. Um, which is just the women's formula. It's a supplement with like um, the assumed amount of everything that um, an, the average woman would need. So I'm just trying to get back on track. Like this is like a little to-go um, cream of nature, perfect edges. I think it's like one and a half ounces or something, but it's the perfect size to just kind of toss in the bag. And then I just bring this little cream of nature edge brush just to have, I mean, it's just one of those things where you just want to touch up your hair, you can, you, you know, you have that already in here. I always bring like some type of hair clip. Sometimes it's a butterfly clip. Sometimes it's one of these like alligator clips. Um, this one is from The Main Choice, which is actually one of my favorite ones because it's made of like this um, velvety material, kind of like a suede material, which makes it easier to grip if like you have oil or something on your hands or like hair product. And then I just have a couple of hair ties just in case I need to put my hair up for bed or if I feel like wearing a ponytail that day, I have some options there. Next is my um, satin line cap. Sometimes I forget this thing because this is one of the items that I do use on a regular basis. I don't have like two of them or anything. So sometimes I'll forget it because I may have worn it and then thrown it under the sink and then I forget to pack it. But if I have it handy, I'll definitely bring it if I remember. Last but not least is some fragrance. This is my Gucci Guilty fragrance. This is the little roller one. And I just can roll it on so that I can smell good and not have to bring like the big one. I'll show you guys my big one. See, it's really bulky. Like this takes up more space than like my bath wash or something. Like, you know, it, it shouldn't be. I, I'm not gonna bring like this big old thing. So instead of bringing this, I bring this and it works just fine. You guys, that is it for this video. That is everything that is in my travel kit, my toiletry bag. Like I told you guys, I travel a ton. I'm getting ready for a trip next week. So this is super clutch for me. This works so well. Every time I come from a trip, I just take this thing out of my luggage, put it under the sink in the bathroom, and I don't have to go in it for anything because everything that's in here stays in here and I have the full size version or whatever else somewhere else. This can just stay. So it makes my packing so much easier, so much quicker, and I just literally don't have to worry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I have links in the description box to some of these items that you guys might want to try out. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Yo, one glass of Patron to smash in its own And I dash right back to the pad where I zone Got a stash collection